Alright, are you guys ready for another banger of an album review? Today we are checking out the band called Mystery, a progressive rock band hailing from Canada. They formed in 1990... They formed in 1988, I believe, and they have produced eight studio albums. And we're talking about the eighth studio album, Redemption, which was released in 2023, which was this year, I think in May sometime. So I didn't know these guys released an album this year. I certainly was surprised. I did check it out and holy my, holy mackerel, this album is something else. Because Mystery combined the heaviness of rock mixed with also elements of metal. Overall, this album was a huge surprise. I have checked out all the albums. I certainly will do an album ranking in the near future. But I gotta say that Redemption is one of their best. Now, Mystery um, are a mysterious band. They produce some incredible melodies, absolutely incredible melodies that will get stuck in your head. And there are six members for Mystery as we speak today. Uh, Michael St. Pierre on guitars and keyboard. We had Francis Forney on bass. Sylvain Mogno on guitars. Jean Sebastian Goyet on drums. Jean Pedro on lead vocals. And Atoin Mikald on keyboards and guitars. But I gotta say, the guitar melodies on this are quite infectious in tone. Very dynamic approaches by mystery, especially on this album. It's a strong story they are telling. So Lies and Butterflies was their previous album and it was a very good for mystery, but I just feel like it is one of their weakest albums. But the first mystery album I checked out was Delusional Rain, it was Delusion Rain. And I'll tell you what, there are some really great melodies, great catchy songs on Delusion Rain, and not to mention some really epic and majestic moments. But I gotta say, Redemption really holds true to Delusion Rain, in my opinion. It's sort of like a continuation from Delusion Rain, where the theme is all about darkness, sadness and also quite uh, even happiness as well like the overall lyrics are quite strong to the listener theater mine was released in 1996 and this was more of a heavier album by mystery close to the realm of progressive metal and even destiny if you like bands such as threshold dream theater fate's warning rush um, and all the other progressive metal bands I'm going to mention, you're going to really enjoy Mystery because they are classified as rock, progressive rock, but in my opinion, they do have elements of metal, especially with the guitar tone they use. But I am ranting, and I thought Redemption was just a solid release for 2023. So I think this was released in May 2023, and um, I was so shocked, I really was, because I absolutely adore Mystery. They are one of my favorite progressive rock bands, alongside with Dream Theater, which is also progressive metal but um, metal and rock aside this is a great album so the overall production on redemption is clean it's bittersweet clean the guitar tone is absolutely amazing it's got some beautiful acoustic cleans as well mixed with some great soaring guitar solos and I'll tell you what the guitars by Sylvain and also Michael St. Pierre absolutely Fantastic, and Gene Padjo's vocals on this, who came to the band in 2014, are absolutely amazing. They really are. They do have that old style vocal tone, a dynamic approach, um, quite clean, but I tell you what, uh, Gene Padjo's vocals are just absolutely amazing. And he was so good on Delusion Rain as well if he was also on vocals, because I'm pretty sure it's the same vocalist. But I gotta say, Redemption really kicks goals. It's not just all positive. Well, mainly it's positive, but there are a few negatives which I will dissect. But um, first of all, let's kick off with the first song, which is none other than Behind the Mirror. Behind the Mirror starts off quite slow, but it does pick up, and the build-ups on Behind the Mirror are quite rewarding, 
got some good rhythm guitar mixed with Gene's vocals that are absolutely fantastic. Um, you get a really soaring nice chorus as well and some really cool keyboards and synths that build up this song and the build up really pays off with a soaring guitar solo. You get some crazy keyboard solos as well. The rendition of softer rock mixed with the heavier rock side behind a mirror is just a fantastic song and it's a great way to kick off the album. Behind a Mirror certainly has a lot of a lot of older mystery influences on this. It does sound like a mystery song and I tell you what, mystery never change their sound. They always they always release amazing albums and they always are so damn consistent. That's all I can say. They're even absolutely incredible live. Um, I've definitely heard some live shows on CDs and I tell you what, they are absolutely amazing live. They sound like the, uh, they sound better than the studio version. But yeah, Behind the Mirror is a great song. Take a listen. Next up is Redemption. Redemption's a slower song, but it does build up. There are even some aggressive um, growls on this. It's, well, when I say aggressive growls, there is a deeper tone um, when he says, this is my redemption. If you hear it, it's really low in the mix, but it, it, it it's just great. And it's just the cool theatrics on this, melancholic feel. Redemption is a great song overall, and I just feel it's fantastic. It just builds and builds and builds. There's some really nice, beautiful, clean guitar mixed with the drumming as well. Like the drums by Gene Sebastian Goyet is absolutely fantastic with the cool drum feels you and getting on Redemption and the tight little tiny little accents as well so really nice cool little soothing solos that will just melt your heart but yeah Redemption is a great song and I just love the ending this is my redemption this is my redemption yeah so mystery Redemption is absolutely fantastic Next up is the beauty and the least. So overall, I think the beauty and the least should have been a cut a little bit shorter. There are some melancholic, melodramatic moments on this. And this song does sort of meander, meander somewhere. Like you really, uh, yeah. I don't know, I would have liked this song a little bit shorter, but it works overall. There's some great solos on this, some interesting keyboards, quite synthesizes the build and make it quite theatric. But yeah, this is a very good song, but I would have liked this song to be cut a little bit short. Gene's vocals on this are absolutely fantastic. It's some great drumming as well. Tight little drum fills with odd time signatures that would just throw the listener off guard. But yeah, the Beauty in the Least is a good song, but I would have liked it a little bit shorter. Next up is Every Note. I wanna feel your every note. So uh, Every Note is a good song. It's a ballad, run about six minutes. Yeah, this song's okay. It's still a beautiful, blissful ballad. It's all about love. It's a, basically a love song. And there's a lot of a pure emotion provided towards the listener. And Gene's vocals are absolutely amazing on this. Beautiful, quivering voice. Uses his head voice so damn well. I love the quiver in his voice. And uh, Sylvain, on guitars is absolutely fantastic on Michael St. Pierre. But yeah, what a great, what a, yeah, it's a good song. It's a really good song. I go back to it sometimes. Um, I just feel that Redemption is just a stronger song than these two songs I've mentioned. It's just a cool theatrics on Redemption. Every note is a good song. Beautiful, clean acoustic guitars mixed with the electric guitars, combination of a really nice, soothing solo throughout every note. What more could you want? Not too sure. Your presence in my boat allows my soul its freedom. 
it needs to love. Next up is My Inspiration. My Inspiration is a pretty fun song overall. Lovely, soothing, slow song, but it builds and a build up does play pay off with some really catchy hooks. The vocals are outstanding on this. It's just the vocal delivery he provides, some really cool guitar riffs, some cool keyboards as well, some old time signatures that lead onto that chorus. But yeah, what can I say? It's a good song overall, but it's definitely not the best song. Homecoming is another song that is on the borderline whether this is good or not. This is a good song and I and I just feel there's again a lot of emotion on this song as well. Just a great guitar riff and finely calibrated song, a lot of dynamics on this. With the cool guitars, like the guitars are absolutely fantastic. Gene's vocals are incredible as well. It's another theatrical song. <laughs> This is all to a build up with the next song, Is This How The Story Ends? Wow, this is a 20 minute song and I gotta tell you what, this is one of Mystery's best long songs in my opinion. Mystery has made some really long songs in the past, like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. But yeah, this is um, uh, close to a masterpiece of a song by Mystery. Yes, it's a masterpiece, absolutely adore this song, just to build up the lyrics as well, the really cool rhythms, and not to mention the great solos you are getting on Is This How The Story Ends. Also the build up, the build up really pays off on Is This How The Story Ends, and also how the song just meanders through and through. It's heavy and also quite soft, and it just, yeah, it's really hard to explain because this song just builds and builds and builds and the, and the conclusion really, really pays off. And that's why I really do appreciate um, Is This How The Story Ends? But Is This How The Story Ends? is a great way to end off redemption. And a mission forgotten. Yes, this is not the best Redemption album, in my opinion. I just feel like Delusion Rain, um, even The World Is A Game, uh, Destiny Theater of Mine are better albums than Redemption. But to gotta say, this is one of the best prog albums I've heard this year. It's like Mystery never changed the sound. They do change the sound now and again. They do experiment with the cool synthesizers, theatricals, but it, this is like one of the most uh, Mystery have always been quite melancholic, also been quite theatrical as well within the music and it does really pay off with Redemption and they have really kicked goals on Redemption. This is one of the best prog albums, prog rock slash metal albums I've heard all year and I think it's just, it, it was a great surprise listening to Mystery's new album which I thoroughly enjoyed. It's a very solid album other than Pearls and Fire which I forgot to mention Pearls and Fire is a 12 minute song and um, Pearls of Fire is fantastic, it really is. It's very Dream Theater-esque. It has a Rush influence as well. There are some amazing guitar solos on this. I can't believe I've totally forgot about Pearls on Fire. Pearls on Fire is an absolute banger. The vocals are amazing. Some great, theat some great theatrics on this with the keyboards and everything like that. And it's just a great song. <laughs> So yeah, come to think of it, maybe 87%. I'm still gonna give it 87% because Pearls and Fire is an absolute banger. I would say that Redemption, Pearls and Fire, and This How The Story Ends are my favorite songs off this album. So yeah, an 87% it gets. So let me know in the comments below whether you're gonna check this album or not. If you got this far, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.